If you want to learn 3ds Max completely with V-Ray 6, Typhlo, Character Animation, After Effects, Phoenix FD Fire and Liquid Simulations, you can go ahead and take my course. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create a object formation animation with the help of VDB. So let's start working on it, create a Typhlo. And for the object, go to extended primitives and create a torus node. You can use any object you want. Since you, you, as we know, torus node is also a complex object. And it looks great in the final renders. So we are going to use it here. Make sure that it is moved above the grid. Because we are going to use the physics operator and we don't want our particles to collide with the ground. Okay, increase the segments to 300 like this so that we can get a smooth result. Increase the side. Okay, so our object is ready. I think we have to decrease the radius a little bit. Now it's okay. Select the tie flow. Click on open editor. And arrange it like this. Now what we are going to do, we are going to convert this torus node into a VDB so that we can bake this torus node with spheres. To do that we are going to use the birth VDB. It is like a birth operator here. So we have given birth to VDB, you can see the squares here. So this square VDB is made up of small voxels. You can see that each voxel size is of 1 cm, you can decrease it, but for now let's leave it as it is. Ok, now let's convert this object into a VDB. To do that we are going to use object to SDF and pick your, pick your object. Now you can see our object is created, so let's hide our original torus node. Now you can see, I think we don't need to decrease the voxel size because we can get, we, here we have gotten a quality object. So now the next thing we are going to do, we are going to use VDB to particles. And inside the VDB to particles, click on pack mesh with particles. Okay. And now let's click unhide this. It, it will unhide the VDB mesh. Now click on this button and create a new event. Let's delete this and create a shape operator like this. And connect these two. And inside the shape operator, go to 3D and create a sphere mid -res. At this moment, use the mid -res. For the final render, you can use the high resolution. So let's use the mid -res and you can see the uh, you can see our object is packed with different is with small spheres. Okay, so this is great. You can change the radius. You can play with all of the settings. So go ahead and play with them. Now what we are going to do? We are going to give a rent a different. We are going to give different material to each object each sphere so now let's give them some color so we want to give us a different color to each object so we are going to use the material edit material id operator and inside the material id select the random okay now open the material editor and i am going to use the vira material so inside the vira material Go to general and from there pick multi sub object material. Click OK and apply this material to the five slots. Like this. Right now you can't render it. In order to render the particles, we have to use the mesh operator. So make sure to add mesh to your render to your to your event. Okay, now we want to give 
दिस पार्टिकल सम कलर सो यू कॉन्ट गो हेड एंड यू कैन गो हेड एंड गिव आर रेंडम कलर यू वॉन्ट बट हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू आर न्यू ट्रिक ओके सो द बेस्ट वे टू गिव कलर इज टू यूज द आ कलर पेलेट सो सर्च गूगल विद द कलर पेलेट यू कैन सी यू विल सी डिफरेंट कलर पेलेट सो दिस कलर विल लुक अमेजिंग वेन दे आर यूज टूगेदर so pick any color you want so i let's pick this one and from here you have to save this image so save it now you have to pick that image in 3ds max so to do that go to file click on view image file and from there pick the image so this is this is our image now what we are going to do select this button here this is this color button and then pick the color like this one by one so this is the faster way to create a great color looking scene so we have applied a color palette to our materials and let's apply this color this material to type below and now you can see the difference now let's create some physics to do that we have to create a box this box will be our activator like this move it to the top convert it into editable poly and let's animate it like this okay now go to object properties we don't want to render this box so uncheck renderable we don't want to see this box so make it displays box okay now what we are going to do we are going to we are going to use physics in our type flow so let's add a physics shape operator and now with the physics shape all of the particles are interacting with each other now let's use the physics switch and change it to kinematic and now use the surface test pick your object make sure it is check it is the change the surface test mode to volume inside and then create a new event and inside that event use the physics switch and change it to dynamic so you can see the result so what we have done here we have used the physics shape it it has converted all of the particles into a physics object now we have used the physics switch so physics in the physics switch we have used kinematic so what does mean this mean that all of the particles will be in sleep mode but they can interact with each other you can see that when these these particles are not activated but they are still colliding with each other and this is the hen here we are activating the physics again make sure to copy this mesh operator here by holding shift in order to render it because without the mesh operator you can't render it okay so here from here you can increase the number of the particles so go here and change the samples to increase the number of particles you can see the count here so in order to enable the particle count right click here and check this button here it will enable the particle count okay so our simulation looks great and now select the type flow enable the retimer enable the retimer and then we we want to create a reverse animation so turn the auto key on change the frame at the initial change the frame to 100 at the zero frame and if you move to the end and give it the value of 0 now it looks like that these spheres are creating this torus node Okay at this moment the animation looks like that there is a tangent curve applied to it so in order to fix it select these keyframes 
go to graph editors go to curve editor and inside the curve editor go to object and you can see the timer so it is set to linear right now you can change it to a tangent to see a different kind of animation result like this Like select the type flow again and then go into curve editor and from there you can change the tangents to create a better looking animation according to your requirement so go ahead and play with all of the settings let's move it in like this so in this way you can create a object formation with any kind of object packing okay so you can also change the shape from spheres to cube the one of the great thing you can do is to use a rotation it will apply the random rotation like this so go ahead and play with this stuff so this is my channel Zion Horizon I upload lot of videos on Typhlo 3ds Max and Phoenix FD so go ahead and subscribe to my channel I have a lot of content for you to learn and inspire from